Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of work on the Norden. I like this modification so much on the 390 Adventure that we're going to do it here on the Norden. I happen to have three matching lock cylinders from the KTM 390. So we've got the toolbox, the S250 install kit. We've got two of the Canyon gravel bags. And uh, I'm going to swap all of the locks out. So everything on the back here, when, when I'm using these soft bags, will have one key. Um, if you notice the back here, it looks like something needs to go like right here. So I think this is going to be the perfect modification for uh, filling up that little gap that they've created on, on this side, basically. So in other related news, I told you guys that something was going to happen over here and it definitely did. So our handyman and his crew took out eight inches of dirt put a 4x8 pressure treated timber or board in here or whatever you want to call it, beam, and then he rebarred, two foot rebars, all the way down it, so it's stationary, not going anywhere, and then he dumped eight cubic yards of river rock and made a really nice driveway for the trailers and it's a drain field that drains off really nice because before when we'd washed vehicles and stuff water would just puddle up right up front there by the front tire of the truck and it just make a big mess so i have some updates coming up on abel i'll give you a little hint see those little oil spots all over the back yeah that might kind of give you a fun idea of what's happening but today we're gonna work on this you guys have seen me do this before on the 390 adventure I did two of them on the back of the 390 adventure just to make it look more balanced and uh, I'll show you again how to do it on the Norden I know some of you are watching the channel for this and oh I wanted to uh, wanted to say to some of the people that are looking at some of the older videos and leaving comments like I I didn't see you do this well I did it it's in the video I checked you just didn't watch the whole thing you skipped all over the place and then you want me to spoon feed you well this isn't the channel for that and I'm not gonna play into that game and if I tell you that it's in the video and your reply comment is unsubscribed I am okay with that um, I work hard to keep these videos going up on the channel and and to me it's it's embarrassing that I have to say this but if you didn't watch the whole video I mean what what do you expect you're not going to see all the details a lot of times at the end of the video I'll go back and describe some of the hard parts that happened and some of the, the trials that I went through and what I did to fix it so I can't help you if you don't watch the video I mean I think I've put them up and they're a pretty reasonable length so there's really no excuse enough of my rant on that let's get these components installed
Well, there you go. If you guys wanted to know a way to do it wrong, I think you saw that in the video. Quite a few ways to do it wrong and I try to be as transparent as possible on this channel. So there you go. We did get it installed. It fits, no problem. Uh, but you can make it difficult by installing it wrong a couple times like I did. The bike looks a bit more balanced now that we added that little toolbox in there i think gv should make like a bigger one though don't you guys think i think it'd be nice if they made like that version and then like a extra large or something like that i think it would fill in that space a little bit better but you know we can't be perfect but i think that's probably going to be it for this episode guys if you like this episode give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed yet i'd love to have you as a subscriber if you didn't watch the whole video, you missed all the mistakes I made. How fun How fun is that when you fast forward through everything or skip to the end and you missed it all? <laughs> Got a few more parts coming in for this uh, awesome bike. So you guys are going to want to stay tuned. Other than that, I hope you guys are staying safe, taking care of each other. And as always, I will catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.